did. But when God left, <laughs> he left them with a good voice, but he took their power. And when God leaves you, your power is gone. Or oh, you might be able to sing like a nightingale, but it don't move anybody. And have you heard some folks say that when it comes to gifts, they have the ability to sing, but they ain't got no power. They can sit there and sing all day. Nobody won't pat a foot and nobody won't clap a hand. They can preach and they can articulate, but they don't have no power. And let me tell you something, you don't have to be the best singer to be the most effective. You don't have to be the best preacher to be the most powerful. I know some people that don't have the gift and the who and the holler, but they got power. And that's why I ask God every day, God give me power. Some folks try to measure and title, but I need power. Just give me power, because when you got power, you may not have grammar right, but when you're just talking about the goodness of God, there's something that moves that power. Power. We got too many powerless preachers and powerless singers, and they sit in powerless churches. We got some beautiful places of worship, but they have no power. You walk in there, it's like walking in a cemetery. And the problem with Samson was he had no power. Hmm. Why didn't he? Because the Lord had left him. And when the Lord Takes her inheritance. The things that you can do, you won't be able to do anymore in the Lord. That's why I learned to pray a long time ago, Lord, don't leave me. For I'll be nothing but sounding brass and tingling cymbals. So all I'll be is some noise in the pulpit if you need me. All the choir will do is just be noise in the choir stand if you need me. So all we'll be doing is gathering here Sunday after Sunday, just going through the motions if you need me. See, he left Samson. The old saying was to have a You in bad shape when the Lord walks out on you. I don't want to walk out on me. I've, I've got the track, the addicted to have it, and then there's a joy in having him near. I, I've got pep in my step when the Lord's with me. I've got a joy that the world can't give, and the world can't take it away when he's, when he's with me. He, he left Samson. And now Samson's there. Faced his enemies without God. And without power. And the record is that the enemies, the Philistines, they captured him. It was easy for them to handle him. And you, you ain't no match for the enemy when the Lord leaves you. The first thing they did was got hot irons of fire, red hot, and they burned out both eyes. They carried him into the Philistines' prison in God's and there he turned the wheel, grinding corn. But on that day, the Philistines had set aside. They called for a great celebration. And they were going to pay tribute to their God for delivering Samson into their hands. And the Bible tells us that they brought Samson from the prison. The godless Samson. Come on in here. The powerless Samson, the blind Samson, and they tied him between two pillars that happened to be the two pillars that provided the foundation for the whole building. And the text suggests that Samson requested the aid of a little lad. He said, I need you to put my hands so I can feel the pillars. Yeah, yeah. Come with me in your mind's eye. You ought to be able to come with me. The Bible says that this godless, this, this powerless Samson said, I, I got to have another talk with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I, I realize that I made some mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I realize that I missed the mark. Oh, yeah. I'm standing here spectacular. A laughing stop before my enemies with blind eyes. But he began to call on the Lord. And he said, Lord, I know I've done wrong. And Lord, I know I let you down. But uh, 
My prayer is just to give me strength. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Let me do it, Lord. Come on in here. One more time. Yeah. I'm willing to even die with my enemies. And as I prepare to leave you here, that's one thing I love about the God I serve. Yeah. He, he specializes in giving us another chance. Come on in here. I didn't say a second chance. Uh, we messed that one up a long time ago, but he specializes in a, another chance. I don't know about you, but I'm standing here because I'm the recipient of another chance. I haven't always got it right. Sometimes I miss the ball, but he gives me another chance. And the record is that Samson prayed. And Samson said, Lord, give me strength. I need your power one more time. I won't worry you anymore, but give me power one last and final time. Man. Let me go down with my enemies. And let me just throw this in for free. You got to be careful how you treat folk. Yeah. Those folks that you consider weak and those that you consider not to have uh, be careful not to put your foot on them because the Lord can give them strength yeah. Yeah, and power to turn your whole world around. Yeah. Yeah, the record is that Samson prayed and that God of ours heard his prayer. Yeah. You see, it's in the hands of God Samson kept on praying. Lord, give me power. Lord, give me strength. And you ought to be able to see the power enter into his I mean, you ought to be able to see the power enter into his heart. The power went through the biceps, and the power traveled through triceps, and Samson's got all power, and he pushed the two pillars hard, and the whole building fell down on the Philistines. And the Bible says he killed more in his death than all the years of his life. Lost that power, you got to do like David said, Lord, restore unto me 